safety restraints played a key role in saving lives when a bus full of children crashed Thursday afternoon. The News 18's Holly Campbell joins us now with more on that part of the story. Holly? Jeff, Gina, all safety buses must uh, excuse me, all handicapped buses must be fitted with safety restraints by law. Lafayette School Corporation Transportation Director Jim Scroggins says while a serious accident, there were only minor injuries because of the restraints. In a rollover, which is a crash that transportation directors fear the greatest because of the lack of restraint systems in most buses, um, usually causes the most physical damage to to passengers. Fortunately, that wasn't the case Thursday as an LSC bus carrying 12 people, including five students, crashed on the interstate. The bus rolled over, injuring a number of people on board, but none of those injuries were life threatening. In this case, I think the minor injuries was due to the fact that this was a special needs bus. LSC Transportation Director Jim Scroggins says special needs students typically have safety restraint requirements. Some restraints go over the shoulder, while others go across the lap like a seat belt. It is law. So all of those students were restrained either in a what we call a star seat or a vest. In addition to safety restraints, Scroggins says LSC bus drivers and aides go through CPR, first aid and bus safety training. And before the bus leaves the lot, drivers do a full inspection. Scroggins says parents should be reassured that school buses are safe with or without seatbelts because of their high center of gravity. I think our accident yesterday, as tragic as it was, um, proves that the yellow school bus is a very safe vehicle, even under those extreme circumstances. All safety restraints involved in Thursday's accident will be thrown away. Scroggins says reusing the equipment could jeopardize the safety of students. Holly Campbell, News 18.